here at Simply Natural Living, conservation is incredibly important. Taking care of our environment and our resources is something that's near and dear to us, which is why we have these wonderful um, conservation technology segments. And here to join us today to talk about water conservation is Ken Wright from WaterSpark Technologies. Thank you so much for joining us today. You've got quite an interesting gadget here to talk to us about. Please tell us how we can save water and take shorter showers. Sure, this is a, a new tool, it's a brand new invention that's called I'm Shower Smart and its purpose is to help people take shorter shower times by reminding them how long they're in the shower. It's a very simple, it's easy to install. Literally, it's no tools. If you can change a light bulb, you can change and put I this on. Change light bulb, so I if you can, can change a light bulb, you can put this on. Great. Yeah, you can see that we have one back up here. You simply take off your shower head, like you see here, you take that shower head off and you put the shower head on here and you thread it on and you put it on the shower and it sits like that. And that's really how it starts and then it begins to time a shower. It's programmable, okay. either via a remote control, that's usually for universities, colleges, military bases, but for homeowners, like your, your people at home who are watching right now, yeah, like me. Yeah. like you, then there comes the USB cord and you can plug that in and program the device for any length of shower you want and or add different sound effects that come with this too. Okay, so let's just talk about length of showers. I sure. have an 11 year old daughter who can be in the shower for 20 minutes. What, sometimes 40, depending on when the hot water runs minutes. out. I know, it's bad, right? So yeah. I've got to kind of knock on the door and kind of remind her to stop taking showers. First of all, what's the average, what's the best length of time for a shower? Well, well, and uh, the studies that have been done say that the average length of shower is 11 minutes. 11 minutes. 11 minutes. But like you said, 20. My, <laughs> I had a son who thought the showers were over when all the hot water was gone, that, which yeah. is 50 gallons, which is 25 minutes. Wow. And I've talked to thousands of people around the United States from uh, San Diego to Boston, and, the, and, and what you hear is the same story. You know, some of the teenagers go in there for 35 or 40 minutes, and then literally parents get frustrated because they become the water cop. They're pounding on the yeah, door. Yeah, exactly. Get Get out of the shower, get out of the shower. Or sometimes I go in the shower and I'm sure everybody else does too. You yeah. kind of go and you just kind of stand there. You're kind of like in a bit of a, of a, of a daze because you're tired. Especially first thing in the morning. It would be so asleep, great if right. there was something to kind of remind me to kind of move me along. That's what this is about. It's moving you along. It's reminding you how long you're in the shower. And now in California, we're in, in, in a disaster mode yeah, where you are. literally are required to cut 25% of your water consumption. So how do you shorten a shower? If you're used to 11 minutes, how do you get it down to 8 minutes? This is the tool. This is going to kind of tell us how? To yeah, yeah. It's okay. very simple. You simply put this on, on the shower, as I showed you, no tools required. Now, as the water starts to flow, it just triggers internal sensors. Think of a car wash. You program this <laughs> the time you want, and you have an allotted time frame to wash, and a allotted time frame to rinse, and a allotted time frame to get out, or it continues to make sounds. Now, since we don't have water flowing here, I brought a display unit which will make the sounds for you, which will play for you now. But it makes, a, makes sounds, as you can hear. It'll kind of beep and tell me that the water's hot, right. I understand, right? So that's the one thing. Sometimes you turn the shower on, you forget. You go make some coffee, you come back, the shower's running, the bathroom's all steamy. This will tell you when the water's hot. That's exactly right. So most people, they turn the water on, they stand there, and it's cold, they leave. Right. And they go feed the cat, make some coffee. Right. And typically they forget, you just forget. So the water's running and running and running and running. So this so pretty like much says ready. Right? So it's ready, just like your oven. Your exactly. Hot, okay. Calls you. So now I know I could put the cookies in, I could put myself in the shower. Now Perfect. we're going to move on. Yes. And then we have the then it goes wash to, cycle. Goes to green. It just, okay. We're using red, yellow, green, just like you from, or from your traffic lights. Yeah. The green is go, yellow, hurry up. Okay, red so stop. I'm in the shower, I'm washing. Then what happens? Then the green, the green cycle comes up, tells you to shower away, and then you have an allotted time frame for that. So let's okay. say you picked four minutes. Mm -hmm. You have four minutes to shower, four minutes to get your all shampoos soap, in shampoo my hair, hair and everything else. Yes. You know, the conditioner for us ladies who have to condition our hair That's right. and then what happens and then next? it goes to the rinse cycle and again, Got it. you'd hear an audio prompt which I'll play for you here so you hear another beep okay so rinse is that, like that yellow kind of thing almost like caution like when you're kind of trying to make the red light it right hurry up. it tells you to hurry up right. because suddenly you have to rinse right before right. that light turns red which I think is next right. I'm gonna hurry up and get that shampoo out of my That's hair right. I'm gonna get the conditioner I'm gonna finish doing whatever I need That's I need right. to do and then what and happens then, so you think of that it's just a prompt it prompts you along like a car wash and then as you can hear here it goes to the stop cycle right and tells you to stop. And as you can see, it's got an open hand which is to be taken right from the crosswalks that continually beeps at you and tells you to get oh, out Oh, like when of you're water. running across the walk and you know you have so much, so much time. Now, what happens if you don't get out? If you don't get out, now, the, the thing that people ask is, well, turn the water off. I don't want to turn the water off. If it doesn't turn the water off, all it will do is continue to make that annoying sound. It just kind of <laughs> bugs you. It, it, you know, it, it is sort of a subtle, gentle reminder. 
And I think we put together a clip, didn't we? We did. We did. Ken has some fabulous, um, anything you can possibly imagine, um, whether it's a, a, a horn honking or a bird chirping, and even, I think, your own voice. Um, we're going to watch that just now and we'll kind of get a sense of what kinds of noises and sounds and prompts you can use for your own family at home. That's right. <whistles> okay, time is up. Please exit the shower. So that's pretty awesome. I could actually use my own voice to tell my children What's your and my name? husband, Brooke. Brooke. So you could say, Brooke, get out of the shower, and it would, it would repeat that and repeat that and repeat over that. Over and over again. So you don't have to stand there. You're doing it anyway. You're knocking on the door, telling your son or daughter to get out of the shower. You don't have to. So that's forth. awesome. So this came out of colleges, universities, military, where they have thousands of people using showers. Oh, wow. This they really a, need to cut back they, there. Yeah. Yeah. Now, there's, so there's one more, one more component of this that I want to tell you. If, you know, if you'll notice, this is not something that you wire up. There's no electrical power. Oh, yeah. No plug. How, does, how does that work? That's right. There's no batteries. How in so, the world could it work without batteries or power? And, and it will last forever. How is that even possible? Okay. Ipso facto e pluribus unum. <laughs> <laughs> it's like magic. So you have water pressure flowing through this oh, in, in, in through the water pipe and out through the showerhead. It simply spins a little mini turbine, as you can see here. It's you like hydro. Yourself. It's like hydro. Yeah, hold um, it up and show the camera there. Yeah, look at that. It goes this way. You spin yeah. It. Nope. Oh, Not sorry, that. other way around. But I want to see where I'm spinning yeah. it, and then it's lighting up, and that is the water. I'm actually making the water with my hand. Right. And the water is literally like a sensor, and it's making the water go through. It charges the batteries. And this is like a power. science lesson for your entire family when they understand That's how <laughs> hydroelectricity works, right? That's, That's right. really cool. Right. This is the same to kind of see what goes inside. This thing is so That's great. awesome. That's that sim That's hydro hydropower. Hydro power. Yeah. There's no different that except on a grander scale than Hoover Dam, which generates the power for California. This is a brilliant idea. Yeah, it's very simple. This it's easy is fabulous. To install. It should be in every home in California. It's something fun. It's user friendly. It's very technology savvy. Kids and, and guys, especially husbands, love technology. What a fun way to get your family to do a shorter shower, to actually have sounds that are engaging, and to kind of make them aware. Because it's not just about a shorter shower, it's about thinking. When you think about keeping a shorter shower, you're suddenly thinking about conserving water, watering your lawn, right. letting the water run when you brush your, your teeth. And then that kind of dovetails into making sure that you're taking care of all of our Resources. Like that's I said, right. they're not here forever, and one of the things that's so important as it's simply natural living is to know that. Ken, I'm so happy you were here to tell us My about pleasure. this. My pleasure. Thank you for inventing something yeah. so much fun. <laughs> and for more information, go to our website. You can learn all about how to install this. You can learn about water conservation and all kinds of other wonderful things with simply natural living. Once again, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to your next invention. <laughs> thank you very much. See you next time.